Hi, I'm Pete Moore, editor of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmart TV. Here's a rifle I'm very excited by, Ruger Gunsight Scout, based on Colonel Jeff Cooper's revolutionary scout rifle. Ruger used their standard M77 Hawkeye action, but have mated it to a medium weight, 18 and a half inch barrel, and also a medium weight laminate stock. A nice feature is the fact the stock has three half inch spacers to adjust your length of pull, and a decent recoil pad. Iron sights come as standard, a little adjustable peep at the rear and a fixed blade at the front. Good enough for 100 yards, no problem. Dominated the gun are two features. The 10 round box magazine, which is the first for Ruga center fire bolt action, and also the Ford Picatinny rail. Cooper envisaged his scout rifle as a go anywhere, do anything gun. To this, he added an intermediate eye relief scope, which sits over the barrel. I'm using here worn mounts to fit the scope, and they're QD, which is quite useful. Though looking a little odd, this little optic is easy to shoot with, and again, it's good for 100 yards, 150 yards, which is not too much of a problem. However, Ruger have kept it in, kept it in keeping with, with the guns they know, and you can remove the rear sight, Remove the scout scope, if you don't like it, and fit a conventional eye relief scope, in this case the new Zeiss Duralite, over the action in Ruger's standard integral rings, integral bases. Which is much more what the British like. The calibre is 308 Winchester, which is a great round, it'll do most things, and it's available in most places in the world. Surprisingly enough, for such a short rifle, it weighs about seven pounds, and in 308, it's very pleasant to shoot. We'll be shooting this later on, and I've got to say, I rather like it. Okay, we're on the range with the Ruger Gunsight Scout. 10 round magazines bombed up. You'll notice it's a single column feed, so again, you need to load the rounds backwards underneath the feed lips. I've also got the Scout scope on. As you can see, as I said, it looks a little bit different, but it should be to hold an inch at 100 yards easily enough. Smooth action, very recoil friendly for 308. All in all, it's a great little rifle for hunting, woodland work, whatever. Maybe even PR.